Here we are, and we're watching uh, sponsor after sponsor after sponsor pull out. We heard Virgin America, Virgin Airlines America pulled their sponsorship. We heard CarMax, uh, and the names just keep floating in. You can see uh, State Farm Insurance, Red Bull, all as of 3.30 this afternoon saying enough. We don't want to be associated with the Clippers as a result of Sterling. Um, what's going to happen to the team? Well, what's going to happen to the team is the team is going to stay in Los Angeles and it's going to be the Clippers, uh, but not the old Clippers who didn't win anything and nobody paid attention to, which is part of this story, uh, but the new Clippers who are in the playoffs and uh, now there's talk of Magic Johnson buying the team. Uh, there's a lot which, of... Which, by the way, I have a feeling that this team is getting cheaper and cheaper by the minute as all these sponsors pulls out, so uh, Magic could get uh, quite a deal. It, it, he could, but uh, Magic Johnson seems to know what deals uh, to get and, and who's who. Uh, but really what you're seeing, I think, is a typical pattern uh, that we've seen certainly in the Internet era, in the social media era. Uh, yeah, where you do have to be fast. careful. And, you know, Andy, it also shows us sort of how business can really influence uh, some social change. And, you know, it's clear that, you know, businesses don't want to be associated uh, with anything like this. I mean, you, uh, you've been uh, president of business operations there for the Memphis Grizzlies. Um, how do you see this playing out? Trish, this is now a global issue. When the President of the United States uh, does a press conference in Malaysia and mentions Adam Silver in the NBA, this is no longer a black-white issue. This is a green issue. And as the NBA looks to expand its brand, it's a yellow issue, it's a brown issue. They're a global brand. Companies are voting with their pocketbooks and moving away from what the reprehensible thought pattern was of Donald Sterling. The positive is that by tomorrow night's game in L.A., Adam Silver and the NBA, the Players Association, the sponsor community, um, and all those people in the NBA community have to get together and make a very strong statement moving away from what Donald Sterling has represented. Mason Levinson, what are your sources telling you? What are you hearing is actually going to happen? Well, it, it's going to have to be a strong statement, obviously. Everybody is, gonna, is watching this at this point, but he's, uh, he's really had such a small amount of time to figure this out. Uh, Silver's probably been huddled with lawyers and there's a lot of legal implications that he's dealing with. By the way, this is a guy who's new to the job. I mean, and this might actually wind up really being his defining moment. How does he, as the new commissioner of the NBA, handle this? Well, he's following David Stern, who was in this for 30 years, and probably never had a similar crisis where he's dealing with not only the fans, but the players. There's outrage on all sides. Stern had some other issues, some big crises, but not quite like this. So he, if he's following Stern's path, Stern did have a pretty good record of diversity, but honestly, Donald Sterling's been around for a while, and there are a lot of stories and reports and lawsuit yeah. settlements about this, so that's one of the questions he has to answer. Andy, what do you think uh, Adam Silver should do right now? I think he should firewall Donald Sterling from any opportunity to be involved in NBA business. And Trish, let's not lose sight of the fact that there have been so many flashpoints in sports over the last few months, whether you know, it's Jason Collins, whether it's the circumstance of bullying in the, N in the NFL. And the world focuses on it for a short period of time. This one is different. This goes to the DNA of basketball, the DNA of people getting together. And Adam needs to act strongly, yeah, swiftly, no matter what his legal advisors uh, you know, are for, telling for, him. For many reasons, but you know, obviously, if you're one of the players on the court, uh, you want to know that uh, the NBA is standing behind you there and, and be, behind what's right.